Hey guys, Greg here with Collective, and today I'm going to give some advice to organizations who are starting down their Power BI journey or organizations who are trying to determine if Power BI is the right tool for them. And that advice is if you're getting started with building Power BI reports, start with a simple, small proof of concept. So instead of, you know, taking the fire hose approach and trying to replicate, you know, every report in your organization, start small. Find one small report that adds a lot of value, but doesn't really require much data. It's simple. And the reason you want to do this is because if you can get, you want a quick win. So you get a quick win of building out a report. That's going to show your organization that, hey, this is a great tool that we can use to visualize and automate our reporting processes. And you can get that done rapidly. So instead of tackling, you know, a full financial report that may include a PL balance sheet and a cash flow statement. Maybe just start off with the P&L. Maybe just start off with the balance sheet. If you're looking at a sales report, maybe just look at you know sales by territory as a simple report. Don't tackle the full array of reports that you have currently within your organization. What this is going to do is going to, like I said, it's going to get you a quick win. It's going to show your end users that you know Power BI is a great tool for looking at um, for looking at metrics and analytics inside your organization. It's going to start getting them familiar with how to utilize the product. And then once your organization gets, gets more comfortable with seeing Power BI on a day-to-day -day basis, then you can take that fire hose approach and really start pushing out a ton of reports so that you can really start utilizing Power BI to its full extent. So that's all I have for advice today, guys. Stay tuned for more videos like this one. Interested to hear what you have to say in the chat below. And thanks again for your time.